Hey fellas, so I just finished watching Turning Red and before I get started, just want you to know that I absolutely loved it. There's not going to be any spoilers in this video with my initial viewing thoughts. Uh, however, I will stay for the record given, given the complicated scenario that took place in the week leading up to this movie, the streaming, I mean that... Depend I would just advise people use your best judgment in this scenario. Here we go, if you know the one I'm talking about. And I'm definitely gonna be staying on Florida Florida for a while, especially as I rework what I have planned next for this series, so let's get started. Okay. So this movie is the feature directorial debut of Dome Shi, who previously he directed had the twenty eighteen animated short bow, which I rather liked, and it follows, follows a 13-year-old girl named Maylin Lee. He, I'm sorry for mispronouncing her name, is he in a previous video, who is trying to navigate all the challenges growing up, up in that age set, and the story is also set in Toronto, Canada in the year 2002, which is further complicated later when she turns into a red panda and uh, whenever she experiences strong emotion, which is something that happens fairly frequently in her age, age mean. And with the help of her friends and family, she must learn to uh, master her inner self while also trying to see her favorite boy band and for a town. And while I uh, who are, happen to be in town, like as one I expect, all does not go smoothly here. I mentioned before, or in previous videos, I was I bought the themes trying to find as well as like how in my drawer marathon last year about how often th themes like like identity, a, as well as a whole struggle between tradition and individualism and how those can often both communicate to keep the balance. Once I will definitely. I say that the film does a great job at that, and as most of the crew is actually it's my first effort for the studio at this scale, all I gotta say is, wait, had the ground rolling, guys. Nice, man. And when I say that, I mean in the sense of, like, a, a collective of, of filmmakers, I do not mean any other sense than that. that and, but that aside... I would definitely say that the film was really worth the wait. No joke of waiting close to a year to see this. See this, and even with the circumstances, I think if it's anything like Soul was in Christmas 2020 and Luca in summer 2021, um, it's definitely going to be very big, big. And once again, it helps get more eyes in front of it and potentially you know, drive more people then so be it and also kind of like the perspective it gave me like how 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 not only how earnest it was in as in everything where here it's i mean especially not only is the whole way it depicts this stage of one's life this inconvenience as the film puts it hilarious here it is i definitely think I think that it also has some a lot of emotional depth to it and how it's very earnest in its depiction of this kind of stuff, and especially the Dino Mont. Won't be spoiling it here here and if you watch the movie, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The animation, of course, is quite impressive. I mean they really make a lot of good use of not of the time and place it takes place in and Dome she also openly admitted that a lot of anime, such as Sailor Moon and Robin One Half, have influenced the story and art direction, and I definitely believe that. I mean, like the colors palette, uh, to mean even a lot of habits from lighting and lighting from 2D animation, and definitely make a good Western adaptation and about and Robin One Half. And once again, a lot of the jokes really surprised me, as did like the dramatic weight it has to it, like how. I mean that's one thing they've mastered over over their entire higher life if it's a film home studio, like giving human qualities everything from toys to, to bugs to robots 
to monsters, to fish. And now we can add, add red pandas to the list. I mean, it's like how it's definitely like our annual whole serving of feels this time around. Like how, and of the ones of this decade, I definitely have to say that it's one of my favorites. I think how like the best ones since and Solon also joined the list of my favorite ones that have been done to date. And Imagine that. Within a week of each other, I've seen a couple of different films of the year so far. I mean, it's definitely a... I have to say, hey, now it's an easy, perfect score. 4 out of 4, 5 out of 5. And before I sign off, the music was also really great. I mean, not just like the boy band they all want to see, Four Town, but also... Or the Goronson, and as I mentioned in previous videos, I really enjoyed his work. I mean, work, I mean, given how often he works with Ryan Coogler as well. So, anyway, that's what I have to say for now. Don't worry, you'll still see something on the Obi Wan on first trailer before the month is out. Uh, but tomorrow, I'll just get you something nice and simple for the time change. Like, I'll be on the gaming vlog. I don't wait and see what I've been playing and why I'm waiting for this movie to stream, so that'll be all for now. Take care, everyone. Mm.